Why you lose your baby teeth? Let knowledge click! Newborn babies don't have any teeth because the only thing they consume is milk. By around six months of age, a baby's first milk teeth begin to emerge, ready to help them eat porridge, soft biscuits, and more. As you... Baby teeth eventually become too small and too weak to surface properly. Stronger and larger teeth, known as permanent teeth, will grow from underneath and push the baby teeth out, causing them to become wobbly and eventually fall out. When you notice a tooth starting to feel loose, be sure to tell an adult right away. Your permanent teeth will be your lifelong companions if you take good care of them. So, remember to keep your teeth clean and visit the dentist regularly to keep them strong and healthy. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have metal teeth, Mommy? Do they make huh? his teeth stronger? Uh, wow. <laughs> uh. Uh, he's wearing braces, kiddo. Huh? I'll explain to you. Let knowledge play. You know, our teeth don't always grow in straight. Some teeth like to till, crowd together, or stand all out of order. That's when braces come in. They like a magical tool that helps teach the naughty teeth to line up properly. The dentist put tiny brackets on each tooth, like giving them a little backpack. Then a metal wire called an arch wire connects all the teeth together. Our jaws are strong, but they can slowly move if we give it the right push. That way, the teeth don't hurt. They move bit by bit over time. When your teeth are straight, the dentist gives you a gatekeeper called a retainer to stop the teeth from running back to their old spot. So, why do we need braces, Dr. Who? Can't you get why? After braces, your smile looks nicer. You can chew all kind of food better. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Wrong! Uh. Both of them are correct! Wow. Mommy, I want braces too! <laughs> oh! Not everyone needs them. Only oh. if your teeth are really crooked. Hmm. The dentist might suggest it. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Looks like you have some cavities. Oh. What's a cavity? Hmm. I think many friends have the same question as you. I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. <laughs> there are lots of germs in our mouth. But don't worry, not all of them are bad. <laughs> Some germs really love sweet things like candy, cake, and sugary milk. When they eat sugar, they make acid. That acid wears down the enamel, the tooth shield. If we don't clean it, the tiny hole gets bigger and turn into a cavity. At first, cavities don't hurt, so you don't even know they're there. But over time, the hole gets deeper and reaches the nerve. That's when your tooth starts to hurt and feels super sensitive. It can even swell up and get infected. And then you will need to see the dentist. 
Is there any way to avoid it? Yes. Remember these things. Brush and rinse your mouth every day. Use floss after meals to clean food stuck between your teeth. Try not to eat or drink too many sugary things. Where are we going, Mommy? We're getting a shot, sweetie. Why do I need a shot? Uh, oh. Did you want to know why we need shots? Hmm. I can tell you. Let knowledge click. Oh. Oh. Inside our body, there's a tiny army that protects us. It called the immune system. <laughs> When bad germs attack, if our body doesn't know how to deal with them, we can get sick right away. Oh. <laughs> mm. A vaccine is like a practice drill for our immune army. It doesn't make us sick. It just brings in a tiny, weak part of the germ. So our body can learn to fight it. The cells remember how to beat it next time. Thanks to practice, the body remembers the bad guys and makes special weapons called antibodies. Next time, the real virus shows up. The army will spot it fast and fight it off super quickly. If lots of people get the shot, the virus won't find anyone to spread to and the disease will go away fast. Oh, I got it now. But I'm still really scared of the pain. <laughs> I've got a few little tips for that. Before the shot, take a deep breath, relax, and talk to a grown-up. During the shot, don't look at the needle. <laughs> You can hold someone's hand. <laughs> After the shot, drink water, rest a little, and don't scratch the spot. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore! so sweaty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you know why we have sweaty hands? Let knowledge click. <laughs> when your body temperature rises due to a physical activity, the brain receives a signal and sends a warning to the sweat glands. Sweat glands are found all over your body, on your face, neck, back. But they are most active on your hands. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Besides playing sports, we can also get sweaty hands in other situations, such as when you eat spicy or hot food, huh? or when you feel anxious or scared. <laughs> Huh? Oh! Sweaty hands are so annoying! <laughs> you can deal with sweaty hands using a simple method. Wash your hands thoroughly. Yeah. Mm. Carry a handkerchief to wipe them when needed. Cool your hands down by holding a cup of ice water. 
Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.